Hey everyone, Happy New Year from the Clueless Dad. It is Chinese New Year, so I wanted to celebrate with you guys the only way I know how with some product taste testing videos. So uh, nobody ever watches these videos, but uh, I enjoy doing them. So I put them on my otherwise completely unrelated YouTube channel. And uh, I went the other day to what's called 759 store. It's like a chain store here in Hong Kong that imports interesting products from Japan and Korea and overseas. And I really struck gold on that trip because I found not one, not two, but three interesting drinks that I wanted to share here with you guys. So um, obviously we're going to save this one for last, uh, but we have sun-kissed sparkling uh, something something in Korean. Actually it's melon soda, so that's like I guess cantaloupe. Um, looks like cantaloupe I guess. So some sort of Korean sparkling cantaloupe drink from your friends at Sunkist. I'm absolutely sure they don't sell this one in the U.S. It's all in Korean except actually, so in Hong Kong when they import it, they have to put this sticker on with the translation of the ingredients and some basic nutrition stuff. But uh, ingredients are purified water, fructose syrup, melon juice concentrate. So we have melon juice concentrate as our number three uh, ingredient here. So let's try this one. Uh, but first, let's introduce our second competitor here. This is Golden Apple and Power by our friends at Fanta. And I don't know why it's a W, W plus. So um, in Japanese, W is usually mean, meant to mean double. So I'm guessing because it's two flavors. And what else does it say on here? Uh, it says it's got vitamin B and Genki Changfan. So... Um, Royal, oh, it's got royal jelly in it. That's what the double thing is. It's got two super awesome ingredients. And uh, what else does it say? Double plus. So, yeah, that's what the double, oh, so W, double plus. It's got those two things, and it says double plus <laughs> literally in Japanese right here. So, um, it's a good thing that I can read Japanese. Uh, so, for this one, the ingredients are water, saccharides, fructose and glucose syrup, apple juice, royal jelly, Korean ginseng extract. Ooh, so this one's just a chock full of stuff and it's got all kinds of obviously colorings and whatnot. So uh, you guys might notice that I'm very curvy here. So I'm using a fisheye lens on my phone to do this so I can fit everything because I didn't want to have to put the phone too far away. Uh, but basically, yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Okay, and last but not least, we have the one I really wanted to try. Uh, Coca-Cola peach. I have never before seen or heard of Coca-Cola peach. This one is also from Japan. Um, and it is basically like a regular Coke bottle. They just put this kind of special pink wrapper on it. Uh, and this one for some reason doesn't have the... Oh, here's the sticker. The sticker for this one. Ingredients, water, fructose, glucose syrup, carbonated agent, color flavor, acid flavors and caffeine so there's there there may or may not actually be anything related to peaches in here it just tastes like peaches maybe um or it could be that the peach is like in the flavors which is like the fifth thing down so yeah i'm i'm sure if you compare this side by side with a coke you know the first 10 things are gonna be the identical caramel flavoring and coloring all that kind of stuff uh, anything else interesting on the bottle? Not really. Um, so I'm going to save this one for last. So let's do it. Uh, I'm not going to drink the whole thing, obviously, but let me start with the uh, Sun Kiss since it's in a can. So what does cantaloupe taste like? Oh, it's like really, yeah, really maybe more honeydew-ish. So this tastes more honeydewish than cantaloupe, maybe, but it's hard to tell. But actually, not bad. I don't know if it's really sparkling or not. Um, but uh, yeah, it actually tastes pretty good. And I guess if I could read Korean, that probably says, hopefully, it says three percent juice and not three percent <laughs> something else. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna give this guy a thumbs up. If you if you're into like kind of melon flavored drinks. Uh, smoothies and whatnot. You probably like this one. Okay, so definitely not a bad choice on the Sunkist. Uh, let's try the 
golden apple and power so the reason i really bought this one okay apple soda is not that unique okay apple fanta isn't unique but um is just because because i have the mind of a 14 year old boy trapped inside me um when i saw this in the store i just saw golden power and uh and with this little squiggly mark and somehow it made my mind think of golden showers thanks mayor simpson because of you we're all taking golden showers <laughs> so um and it is pretty pea colored so um i'm not anticipating that i'm going to enjoy this just based on the uh, impression audio visual impression that it has on my mind in advance um not so strongly carbonated as you can see it's just kind of a little bubbles but not really um Tastes very, very similar to uh, Sindra, which is a Taiwanese drink that I like to get and when I'm in Taiwan, and they also import it some places here. Uh, and there's another brand that you can buy here, CNC Apple Drink, I think is what it's called, uh, that I get when I don't want to have a soda, especially now that I've stopped drinking soda um, since the beginning of the year. So um, this one. Nothing special, actually. It's just kind of a semi, not really carbonated um, apple drink with lots of sugar in it. So um, I don't know. Maybe the ginseng is. I don't feel more powerful, at least. So we'll see. Um, this and eh, nothing special. Okay. So now the coup de gras, the thing that you all came for, the Coca-Cola peach. Uh, let's see how this turns out. I'm trying to think, I've had peach. Well, I've had cherry coke. I don't think I've had peach soda before. I'm not a big peach fan. I can smell some peachy stuff. Like maybe fake peach flavoring. Mmm. I can definitely taste like a peach flavor. Almost to the point where I don't taste the Coke flavor. Like, it's like a peach drink. And you can't even really see, let's see if you can see. You can see it's actually totally just Coke, looks like Coke. Um, yeah, I guess it's peach. It's definitely peach flavor, like a peach tea, but without the tea, but with Coke instead. Not horrible, not particularly good. It almost doesn't taste like Coke, so it's like, why bother um, when I just eat peach? Um, but yeah, I guess I'm, I'm enjoying it. So um, that one I'll give a, I won't give a thumbs down, let's put, I'll give it a thumbs up just because it's not horrible like some of these other ones I've tasted. So uh, it's actually palatable. I think it's not, like it takes a little while to build up on you. Um, but yeah, so peach, peach, Coca-Cola peach, I guess it's called. Uh, thumbs up, sun-kissed, melon, I'll give this one Two, two thumbs up just because I think it's actually pretty reasonably tasting you know like it could be a standalone brand not just a not just a limited edition thing last but not least the Fanta Golden Apple and Power eh, I think it's a lot of marketing mumbo-jumbo but nothing special okay that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed this video I want to wish everyone again a happy Lunar New Year and looking forward to an exciting year of the dog that's it from The Coolest Dad. Check out our other videos. Give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye. This is Coca-Cola Ginger with ginger extract flavor. Uh, let's try it out. See how it tastes. I'm guessing not so good, but let's see. <laughs>